Now, three of the 12 children alleged to have been found by a 35-year-old man in Wa on Tuesday testified before the Wa Circuit Court presided over by Jonathan Avogo. Now, the minors are the first witnesses the state's prosecutors are relying on to prosecute the 35-year-old alleged pedophile Ahmed Rashid, who is standing trial for some 15 counts of defilement and five counts of attempted defilement at the circuit court. The following report by Latif Mahama has more. The accused person who pleaded not guilty to all the charges against him was allowed to cross-examine all the three girls during the trial that was conducted in camera. A principal state attorney who is the lead prosecutor in the case spoke to City News after the court. Three girls and he to cross-examine all of them and then we again this phase case the phase docket, case docket we filed involved three girls all the girls were in court and all of them testified they did very coherently and very cogently and during cross-examination they were also straight to the point and they gave their story in a well disciplined and coherent manner they were sure of what happened that's what they told the court he disclosed that the court took the decision to sit in camera because it wanted to protect the identities of the girls as minors. In the court, in the judges' chambers, in front of the accused and the prosecution, they removed the veils and the accused person saw them and they saw the accused person. And they talked to him directly. He also talked to them directly. The accused denied, has always denied. He accepted some of the facts, like the nature of his house, the nature of his room, how things are arranged and all that. But he denied it probably somebody could have told the girls how the room looked like. So that's what he said. The sitting was adjourned till Wednesday, when a medical doctor and a police investigator will be called to testify before the court. In another development, drama unfolded when a 15-year-old refused to speak in the court when she was called to testify against her teacher, who is attending a trial for defiling her. Proceedings came to a standstill for minutes as the prosecution tried but failed to let the JHS2 girl testify in the defilement case against her science teacher, Ganyu Alhassan Froko. Today there was drama in respect of it when the people was brought. For whatever reason, she refused to testify. But we attributed it to a trauma or to a fear of the and then, so we're going to take another. So we had to adjourn that one. We brought in another witness to counsel the witness and send her back. There was, so that one we couldn't make that much progress because our material witness was not in a position to even answer questions, neither from the court nor from his lawyers. So we would, we would take steps to address it. So, um, the court ordered gender and children ministry to take care of her and take her through counseling. That's what they called them. The case was adjourned to Thursday. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama. Wah.